Young Turks, Tie the Knot 2015. Something like this was waiting to happen in India. Great platform for, uh, you know, startups to come and pitch and meet so many investors. I like the energy. I love the way the entrepreneurs are becoming savvier and savvier. There is a great, great story here. Yeah! Right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen. The third edition of Tide and is about to begin. Legendary entrepreneur and investor Raman Roy, master of ceremonies at this event, is on stage and he'll be introducing the first team, Edu for Share, shortly. The first team, but it's an 8,000 crore market that they have a solution for. And with that, uh, Ashwini and Jerry, welcome. Hello, my name is Dr. Ashwini Jakart. I'm founder and CEO of eduforshare.com, your one-stop solution for all your exam preparation needs. We are here at this event to raise one crore of funding for a venture eduforshare.com against 15% of equity. We say, let one pain point be strength for another. So we are a marketplace which brings together aspirants and people who have cracked exam together. So these people provide mentorship as well as their content to them. But Rohini doesn't, is not satisfied with just all content. Maybe she's looking for many more varieties in the content. That's where we bring in a new entity to this. That's business sellers. These business sellers provide books, distance learning program, e-learning e -learning content, digital content, personal notes, everything under the sky. She can look for new and old, and she can combine this with guidance programs delivered by none other than people who have recently cracked it last year or last or last year. We intend to make 8 crores total revenues end of this year. That goes on to 30 crores and 80 crores for the years, two years after that. We intend to be cash positive by October of this year and also break even by the next year, February. Imagine someone speaking to an IITN in 250 bucks or 300 rupees. You mentioned in one of your slides, Topper. Are you already mm -hmm. tied up with them? Yes, okay. we already tied up with them. And what's your revenue model with them? Uh, we have a revenue sharing arrangement with them, when for every sale that we make, we take an X percent of revenue. What they need is a lot of structure. Here, what you're opening th to them is a lot of abstractness, and they have to bring their own structure. So I think you're solving a problem which is very different from the problem that they have. So here the way we're looking at it is they have just gone through this mess, whatever you call the unstructured world of competitive exams. And they have done it successfully. So if there's someone out there who can claim that yes, I know it, it's that one person who just done it. And we can't question that. Do you expect, do you expect people will go for say a coaching with the, the top coaching institute like for JE or something like that and take this additionally or are you expecting most of them to be exclusive to this? Kind of both, I would say both. And that's the reason that we have in last six months, we have proliferation of so many players. When you are focused on telementoring, which seems to be the best novel idea in this whole process, is only one percent of the revenue. The rest of the 99 percent is probably available from many other channels. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to generate value out of that 99 percent in that sense? Uh, purely by providing mentorship to them, that's one thing as an addendum to all our content. We are saying then, con no, we don't sell content just as a content. We are saying we sell content with advice. When, you, when there's a problem of plenty, that's where marketplace comes in play. When we had only Air India out there, we did not require Make My Trip. We had 10 players, we wanted Make My Trip. One crore for 15% of the company. I'm in. Okay. So one guy's in. Hey guys, clap! Same here. There are two guys in. I'm in. Uh, yeah, just just uh, want to say that uh, customer acquisition cost you're probably underestimating. So you actually need probably much more than a crore. So uh, you need to do your math on that. But sure. but I think I'm in uh, up to 50 lakhs. I'm happy to be in. And four out. So three and a half guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Here's Thank you. First crore. I think it was a great experience that I personally had and uh, I would say there were a lot of things that happened which I wasn't expecting. For example, uh, during the day I was interacting with two of the investors and they had so many questions I couldn't have even ever thought that they were going to really invest into the company. The team definitely, you know, the, the whole management was very good and I'm, I really believe that the guys, uh, you know, have the gut feeling and uh, they have the drive to actually make this happen. It aligns with what we are doing at IVK Ventures because we have a mentor model and I like the way they're approaching this entire market through a mentor network. Hi, my name is Vinay. I'm the founder of Invenzone. We are an AI startup building an AGI professional assistance. We are looking to raise 10 crore for 10% valuation. We are building this intelligence that can self-learn and self-optimize and could able to assist humans in making decisions. 
usually technology simplifies everything but the world that we are living right now it complicated everything it's because of too much of information that is floating around and 40 percent of the time a professional is spending in uh, searching for the right information and the organization is spending over 500 billion dollar in this information management and the complexity that we are looking at right now the information explosion it's only going to grow in the next five years at a five x pace so we are actually in this phase. So we wanted to bring the simplicity around us. The world that we are looking at, the chaotic world that we are looking at, everything is going to be simplified, 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 and helps you in making a better decision. So that's why we are looking at. Thank so, you. Thank you. So folks, it's going to be simplified. All they need is 10 crores. <laughs> and they'll give you 10% of their company for that. So I've been a tech investor for a long time. This looks like a marketing spiel to me. Yeah. With no, and this makes me feel there's no technology depth in this at all, because there is not one referenceable technology item that you mentioned in this. So my thing to you would be, what are you benchmarking yourself against? So, uh, like IBM Watson, their uh, their, their evaluation is what uh, their evaluation is Japati game. How how accurate you can be showing the results? So have you read the papers on on yes. On yes. Them? yes. Yes. So is that how they describe how they the various versions of Watson were getting better? No, that game is just a marketing flaw in the end when the whole thing has been built. Yeah. What yeah. are your metrics that you use to measure that your last version a year ago was inferior to the version that you have today? So the syntactic uh, the syntactic uh, relationship matrix that is there. So you can calculate the syntactic relation, how, how well it is picking up. So the current algorithms which are there, they have 60% accuracy. We have 65-70% accuracy towards that. I want to see how, because the devil is in the details. I, I, I saw the presentation, it seemed uh, very, very uh, technology focused to me, actually. And, uh, That's fair, actually. and, well, my, and, well, and maybe my fellow the panelists... The lies in the eyes of the beholder, folks. Yeah, yeah. And, and my fellow panelists here are maybe much smarter than, than me. But all I heard from you was, I'm building an AI product. So maybe you could elaborate on a simple use case which would apply to all the audience here. How would Arya help us? Just you know, you know, talk through an example. Let's say you want to search for a restaurant. You go to fourth page, fifth page to your mobile and click on that, search it, and then look for like there's there's a huge amount of jargon that is happening. All of this can be simplified with just one conversation with Arya, with your professional AI assistant. Like, I want to do this. Why don't you search, search for this or book a ticket? That's how the simplified the world will be. What, what can you ask with a Siri? Will it actually understand you? Does it actually have the analysis power or the brain? No. It, it has written with the rules, right? That's the point where it has differentiated. It's AI rules. Let's say you are asking for, I want to look for Italian cuisine. The, uh, the, 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 the question that you are asking is incomplete. You want to look for Italian cuisine. Fine. So what, for what purpose? It should have to talk to you back. That's where the AI, the AI comes up, understanding exactly what you needed. For this complex product, we're trying to raise 10 crores. I'll start from this side. I'll start with you. Out, 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 three zero. Sharad is out. Out. Not at this valuation. Not at this valuation. Uh, I, I don't think, so, I, like, I like what they're doing. I think uh, obviously need to spend, haven't had the opportunity to spend as much time as, as he had. But uh, definitely doesn't make sense at this valuation. Okay, folks, so we have three maybes, one link to valuation. So congratulations, folks. I hope you can convert the maybes into reality. Uh, th this is really fascinating. I didn't understand what they said. <laughs> okay, but uh, I mean, instead of starting that 15th grocery site or 10th baby product sites on e-commerce, to come up, even to think and come up with the products and to be able to share. Absolutely. I think we should give them a big hand. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it, it warms, it, 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 it really warms my heart, okay? And, and the state of bliss that you are in not understanding, now you understand <laughs> how I feel most days. Yeah. Hi, my name is Arpit. I'm co-founder of Mishtag. Mishtag is all about making images on the internet product aware. We're currently raising a 1.8 crore round at an 8 crore pre-money valuation, out of which 87 lakhs have been already committed, and we are here at Tiger Nod to raise the remainder. I remember my wife was looking uh, at some uh, article, and that article had this uh, image of Katrina Kaif wearing this black sari, and she wanted to buy that at that moment. And what she did, she asked me whether I could help her find that online. Although given my searching skills, uh, skills, I was able to do that, 
But again, after this thing was done, uh, the thought still remained. What if these images were product aware? What if these images told me what products are available in these images? And that's what precisely we did at Mishtag. We made images product aware. We charge commissions on every transaction or lead generated by Mishtag for an e-tailer or a brand. But yes, there is another concept to this aspect of making money. We are collecting ample data, some very powerful data, which can be smartly structured and created in form of an analytics patch book. Analytics product offered to retailers and brands. You are finding these images, as you said, mm -hmm. and they're appealing, and you've done your analysis, mm -hmm. um, and then you're mishtagging them and distributing them, mm -hmm. right? Um, why wouldn't you allow or empower the world mm -hmm. to mishtag their images mm -hmm. and then distribute them? What's the bottleneck in doing that? So there's no bottleneck per se. Uh, the way we have kept it is uh, we just want to make sure the people who actually extract most value from the images are either the brands or e-tailers or publishers. We have just made it open to these guys. Okay. If you talk about a consumer product building out of it, yes, that's a possibility. Why we are not currently doing that? Because we just want to make sure that people okay. start realizing there is a concept called Mishtag using which you can make images product aware and you can fix Figure out products. US, there's this company called Pict who did this and got acquired. Yeah. After Pict, did someone else do this? Yes. There's another company called Thinglink uh, in New York, which is doing uh, what uh, I mean, 90% is similar to what we are doing, but they are operating more in a SaaS model. We believe, I mean, that is not a right model to work because one, uh, with SaaS, uh, the game only lands up to one question: what is the pricing? Two. Uh, we also believe, I mean, this is some technology which can uh, provide a lot of value to the consumer and it should be distributed uh, to the last leg. And that's why we believe, I mean, working on a model where we just take a portion of the commission, which is a uh, standard approach that the industry is following, would make more sense. A lot of uh, adopters would come in and use this technology. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in subject to valuation. <laughs> I would need to see technology, so till then, I'm out. Probably in, but valuation seems way off. Going back to what uh, uh, Navyug was saying earlier, I think this is a tried and tested model as well. You know, there are issues in the model. I'm not discouraging you guys, but I think, um, you know, there, there is a market sizing issue and the other, other issues as well. So you're out. Okay. I could be in later on when I understand more about so it. So maybe linked right. to revenue. That's right. And therefore linked to valuation. That's <laughs> I'm in, and if I wasn't, it would be missed tag. <laughs> so I, I think um, I love the team, and I think there's a very strong use case. Love to, to work with you to make this uh, interesting. In. Okay, in. So folks, congratulations. Thank you. I think a little bit of speaking of valuation. May I suggest you guys have a chat with each other and maybe make an offer to uh, to the investors mistake is bad guys they had a chat on the valuation we like to get you on board uh, uh, if it's about uh, only a delta here and there i think we should be in with that it will take time to evolve but the investors are open to spend the time to see if something evolves Sure. So there is no counter, but they are willing to talk. So sure. thank you very much, guys. What you are saying is you are willing to talk. What they are saying is they are willing to talk. I, I'd love to be the fly on the wall when you guys talk. Good luck, folks. Sure. Thank you very much. Thanks. I see my daughter, and I thought of her, and she's always looking, and she finds something interesting, and she wants to shop. So if Mishtag is successful, my shopping bill will go up, but. Hopefully, I'll make some money over the venture, but I think it's a very strong use case. So, here's the thing, their core business is something else. So, they don't have a product focus over there. I leave it to you to think. If they are not doing it, they have the money, they are not doing it because they don't see the market is large enough. Young Turks, tie the knot 2015.